Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Located in western North Dakota where the Great Plains meet the rugged Badlands. Here, wide open blue skies perfectly contrast colorful rock formations and lush vegetation that is adapted to its dry climate. The north unit of the park is located around 50 miles north of Interstate 94 and just off of Highway 85. The scenic drive is a 28 mile out and back trip from the visitor's center. The beautiful, colorful hills and buttes of Theodore Roosevelt National Park have been formed by erosion from water and wind. Riverbend Overlook, about 8 miles in from the entrance, is one of the more popular spots to get out and explore. Here, take in a spectacular view of the Little Missouri River Valley and the historic shelter that was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1937. Located at the end of the scenic road and turnaround point is Oxbow Overlook. Here take in the long view of the meandering Little Missouri surrounded by cottonwood trees and impressive buttes. The north unit also has amazing wildlife viewing opportunities. Bison, bighorn sheep, prairie dogs, and moose all call the park home. Painted Canyon Overlook, located along I-94 just east of Medora, isn't just your ordinary rest area. Besides being a great spot to get out and stretch your legs, the view of the colored and rugged terrain stretches as far as the eye can see. Medora, the gateway to the south unit of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. This historic town maintains the charms of the old days and shares them with thousands of visitors each year. Its quaint downtown area offers shopping, touring, eating, and stagecoach rides. The South Unit Scenic Loop is a 36 mile round trip with numerous pullouts and opportunities to see more wildlife, including wild horses, bison, and prairie dogs.
The park also offers numerous hiking opportunities located just off of the pullouts along the road. As one of the least visited national parks, Theodore Roosevelt offers a more relaxed experience to its guests. Being able to slow down and take your time to enjoy this drive and the surrounding views makes this a great place to visit. As you make your way through the park, it's easy to see how a young Teddy Roosevelt would be forever changed by his experience here in the Badlands of Western North Dakota.